Hey friends, welcome to A Little Of It All. My name is Taylor. Thanks so much for hanging out today. I'm so grateful that you're here. If this is your first time stopping by, I would love it if you stayed a while. Be sure to subscribe and check out that description box. It's just going to tell you a little bit more about what we have going on over here. We are all about zero-based budgeting and cash stuffing, but I do love A Little Of It All. Y'all, we are budgeting. We are regular zero-based budgeting. April's first paycheck. So I got paid at the end end of March. So that was going to be 29th, the last working day of March. So this paycheck is going to cover us for the first couple weeks of April before we roll into my husband's paychecks. We are both salaried employees. Let's just give a look-see at March. Mm -mm, mm -mm. This is April now. <laughs> Let's give a look-see at April. So as far as our bills purposes goes, this needs to last us until the 12th, which is actually tomorrow <laughs> when I'm filming this video. So we're a little bit behind, but that's okay. Those bills include for us our first of the month bills. So let's give those a look. That includes the first part of our tithe, the first little part of our mortgage, which is going to be $925. I'm still playing with these numbers. You guys know how chaotic the first of the year has been for us. So that's why I'm still playing with these numbers is because I really haven't been able to see what our paychecks will look like, like our real paychecks with the numbers that I've been working with. So we'll see how this goes this month. Trash is 16, MPE, you guys know the drill all the way down to Canva. Let's go ahead and get this budget going. Like I said, my husband and I, we are salaried employees. I make $2,681. He got a little bit of a bump up in pay while he was out on disability. So I'm not quite sure what his paycheck is going to be. It has been $1,444. It's been $1,433. So I'm not quite sure where we're going to land. We'll see hopefully soon. This is check number one. So again, it is $2,681. That is my paycheck. It was deposited on the 29th of March. And again, it needs to last us until the 12th of April. Perfect. So the money that we need to leave in the bank to cover our bills that we just talked about is $1,791. That does include a little bit of a payment to our credit card. I think it's like $130. You guys know our credit card journey at the beginning of the year has been a little wild, a little tumultuous, but we're getting it under control. We are working. We've got a plan together and we're going to get it back under control. So let's see how much we are actually going to have to work with for stuffing this time. We are going to have a total of $890 to work. Let's go ahead and dive right in. We've gotten our bills taken care of. That is most important. Now let's take care of our necessities. For us, our necessities include groceries, gas, household, and our puppies. So let's start with groceries. In our wallets, we both get $25 for small little grocery runs during the week. And then the sinking funds binder gets $150. That is a total of $200. That amount seems to work well for us. It's just two of us, my husband and I. Gas gets $50 each, and then we don't actually stuff anything into the sinking funds binder. This may have to change because you guys know we've moved. We have to mow our lawn now. We have to have money to be able to do that, to run the lawnmower and the weed eater and all of the things that need all the gas. So we're going to see if we can just make it with any rollover that we have from our wallets, and if that doesn't start working, we'll start stuff like $15, $20 in here um, when we do our stuffings. So actually nothing for right now. We're just going to be playing with it, see how it works. So that's minus a hundred dollars. Then we have our household fund. We get $10 in each of our wallets. Again, not the majority. It's just the little quick trips if we need it. And then $30 into our sinking funds binder. So that is a total of 50. And then last but not least, our sweet pupperoos. We've got three pups that we take care of that we love so much. They're our kiddos. So their envelope is going to be getting $20. And then their puppy food is going to be getting 30. I'm not going to pull puppy pills. I'm just going to leave this in the account. I'm just going to put IA in our checking account because we already paid for their puppy pills this month and I just used my debit card. So again, that is a total of $50. Fantastic. Okay. So we have got our bills taken care of. Yay. Then we get our necessities taken care of check. Now let's move on to our annuals. We know that we have to budget for these. These are coming up quick and fast. Right now for this portion of the year, our annuals are prime, body, VPN, and Sam's, and then our PO box. Okay, prime gets 12. So that's minus 12. 
we are actually going to be stuffing a little bit more in Beachbody this time because you guys know we haven't stuffed it in a couple of months. So let me leave this one blank for right now and see what else I can work with here. VPN, Sam's, and P.O. Box get $5 each, and that is a total of 15 Okay, perfect. So $4.63 left. Let me go ahead and get rid of this three. So I will put $13 in Beach Body, and that will get us to a nice even number. Perfect. Yay. Okay. So let's move on to our savings challenges. I really am excited to get these going again. Let's see what we can work with this time. You guys know it has been forever since we have stuffed and scratched a scratch off for our savings challenges. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm just going to put $50 in important dates and emergency, and then I'm just going to do 20s and everything else. That's what I'm thinking right now. So let's see what we can hopefully do with that. So our challenges are important dates box, our 1k slash emergency fund, Taylor, Christmas, month ahead, refinance, extra payment, and vacation. They're not really low priority like in the scheme of things, but I do tend to like cut the challenges first whenever we have to do like a bare bones budget because these don't have to be stuffed besides like the 1k emergency. So let's see what we can work here. We're going to try 50 and 50 and important dates in our emergency. So that's going to be $100. And then let's see if we can do it. 20 and everything. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Oh, I don't know. So we'll have to see when we get to the end if we'll have to tweak this. I do have a couple of more savings challenges that I'm wanting to add into our savings challenge binder. Um, I'm going to want to do one for like our house projects. We want to save up and do a couple of things with our house. We want to get electricity in my husband's outside shop. We want to buy new dining room chairs, just things like that. So we're going to start saving up for that slowly but surely. And then also I am saving up for ink. If you've been following me along on Instagram, you guys know I have had like the worst technology trouble. I don't know if the like e eclipse affected anything. <laughs> it's just been a wild couple of weeks. And in that panic, I bought a laser jet printer. <sighs> it's just been wild. So I know ink for laser jet or toner, toner for laser jet printers um, is quite expensive. So I'll need to start saving up for that for when I run out of ink. I haven't actually gotten the printer in yet, so I'm just hoping everything is going to go well. So like if I have a printer that goes out like I did last week, I'll kind of have like a backup printer situation. But we're, we're moving forward. It's going to be okay. All right. So, so far we have bills, necessities, annuals, and our savings challenges taken care of. Let's move on over to our wallets. For our wallets, we both get $20 for spending. So 20 and 40. And then eating out, so excited to be stuffing these up again. Scott gets 10, I get five. Again, we're still tweaking and playing with these numbers too. They may change, they may not, we'll just have to see. Going out gets nothing for him, five for me. This is just going out with friends. And then drinks, we both get $5 in our drinks envelope. So that is a total of 10. For toiletries, he gets 10, I get 20, and that is 30. And then for miscellaneous, we both get five. So five and five, and that is 10. Okay, we have $120 left. Let's hop over to our sinking funds. Big sinking funds for us that we know that we're probably going to be spending is our us envelope, eating out, and going out with friends. So I try to put 20s in there when I can. Let's see if we can make this work. That's 20, 40, 60. So minus 60. Okay, we've got 60 left. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, so ones that I know I haven't been stuffing during the Bare Bones series was chiropractor. So I want to put a 10 in chiropractor. And then Sam's and hunting, birthdays, all of those weren't stuffed. So let me do 10 in those. 10, 20, 30. So that's minus 30. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm not going to do anything in giveaways because I've been stuffing my giveaways little binder with my side hustle money. So let's see. This is 5, 10. Oh, this is perfect. So 5, 10, 15, and 20. So prescriptions, over-the-counter meds, car maintenance, and medical all got fives. And that is a total of $20. And that my beautiful friends, is a zero-based budget. Every single one of these dollars from the 2,681 paycheck that I got is accounted for, whether it's staying in our checking account to be auto-drafted out for bills, or we are pulling that actual cash out and then stuffing it into physical envelopes 
necessities, sinking funds for future expenses, annuals for those annual subscriptions that we have. We know that every one of our dollars is working for us. Yay! Okay. I have a sweet little card that I want to show you guys real quick before we fill out our cash breakdown sheet. Yancy at Budgeting My Debts sent me a sweet little card. I just, I tried to open it, but then it like resealed on me. So <laughs> let me try to get this open once again. She asked if she could send me a card for Easter. I was like, oh my gosh, you're just the most precious thing in the whole entire world. And I said, of course, look how cute this is. Oh, this is precious. It's like a little 3D card. That's so fun. That little chick. Says hello Taylor, hopping by to say happy Easter. Congrats on your new home. Love ya, Yancy. Oh, I love you, Yancy. You are so awesome. She also, you guys, is having an epic binder drop soon. Oh my goodness! If you guys follow her, you have seen the colors. They are absolutely stunning. If you are not following Yancy at Budgeting My Debts, you have to. It's like colors that I've not seen before in this awesome community, and I'm so excited about it. I'm definitely gonna be snagging one, so I'll link her information in the description box below. But let's look at this sweet little challenge that she sent. It's a little Easter challenge. This is so cute. It's matte laminate. I love that. And look at the back. Look at this plaid on the back. Look at that attention to detail. I love this. I'm so excited to be incorporating this into my budgeting soon. Thank you so much for thinking of me, Yancy. Pulling my cash breakdown sheet. Let's go ahead and get our denominations figured out. All right, guys, let's count this up and make sure I figured all of this correctly. Wonderful, 890, and that is exactly what we needed. Let's fill out our teller slip so we can head to the bank. Taking this in my bank bag so we can head to the bank and get this check stuffed. Oh my goodness, so excited. I've been looking so forward to this. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me and being here while we do our zero-based budgeting. Y'all are just fantastic. I'm so, so, so thankful for you guys. Don't give up doing great things, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.